Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva and this is your first time welcome. If not, welcome back. For all you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Bravo slash Kenya Moore. I learned today on TMC that Bravo had the nerve to give Kenya Moore an ultimatum about doing Dancing with the Stars. They pretty much told her, I think because um, when she initially took the gig, Roa was not taping, but I guess they were upset that, you know, now is colliding with each other. And they gave her an ultimatum saying, either Dancing with the Stars or Us. And I'm like, seriously, Bravo? And so was Kenya Moore. Now, let's get it straight here. Okay? Right now, I'm Team Kenya. And the reason why is when I do this commentary on my channel, I never have a personal vendetta against any one of the reality show um, personalities that I'm talking about at the moment. My thing is I watch the episode, I give my opinion on it, but personally, I would never want to see any one of those personalities not win, okay? I would never want to see them without a job. I would never want to see them not make their money. And although I believe NeNe Leakes, she cut off her own money bag, at the same time, I did feel bad for her for losing her money bag, okay? When she, um, you know, um, whatever you want to say, when she no longer had a job on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I just want to put that little disclaimer out there. So right now, yes, Team Kenya, watching her on Dancing with the Stars, and I'm hoping she goes very far. Far Now, there are some other people that, you know, they're, they're really dancing their butts off, okay? But right now, Kenya is still in the race, and I'm happy for her. So Bravo had the nerve to tell her she needs to choose one. And you know Kenya Moore, she's um, um, swift with it. She was like, okay, well, why do I have to choose? Um, in the past, Erica Jane was on it and was still on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What's the problem? In the past, Lisa Vanderpump was on it and was at the time on The um, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. What's the problem? Kim Zoziak was on um, Dancing with the Stars and was on Roa and had her other Bravo show at the time. What's the problem, okay? And Nene Leakes was on Dancing with the Stars and was on Roa at the time. So what's the problem? Why was all of those ladies allowed to do Dancing with the Stars while they was doing their Bravo show, but Kenya Moore cannot? So then they fell back a little bit and, you know, I guess, you know, because she had a valid point, okay, that would make everything seem suspect. Like, why are you picking on me? Why are you picking on Kenya Moore? So they fell back a little bit. So then they told her pretty much, you know what, when you're taping Roa, even though you will be dealing with um, um, Dancing with the Stars at the same time, none of our filming is going to focus on or capture you when you either go into practice or practicing or anything like that, which is 100% just nastiness. And why do I say that? Uh, what's the name? Candy has 900 shows and 900 different things she does while she is taping Roa, okay? And they follow her on it. She was doing, I forgot the name of the show one season. She was doing it. They showed her doing her rehearsal. They showed her preparing for it. Um, they told when she wasn't going to be any somewhere. You know, actually, she was had a scene with Todd where, you know, she had to go fly out to do the show. And then her little um gorgeous son, okay, um, was missing her, was crying on the scene. He wanted mommy. So you can show Candy going through all of her situations with her other 99 jobs but you can't let Kenya Moore have one extra job she's raising her child she is a single parent let Kenya get and make her money 
you know, Bravo be straight pimping. One, you don't want people to have a, another job while they have your show. But two, you have these people waiting by the mailbox um, with their life on a limb to, just, just to see if they're going to get invited back for the next season. Total chaos, total, um, totally disrespectful. I mean, at the very best, when you're a top running for the running for the show, you should at the very least get a two season contract or maybe even a three season contract and then have to renew after that. But every season after season to have to sit there and wait to see if you're going to be invited back is just disrespectful, especially if the invite back is not going to include like a massive raise. And to me, I would negotiate a, a, a contract that is more than one season, but after my performance, after the first season, um, the, depending upon how I perform, you know, add some money onto that next year, and then I renegotiate my contract, maybe the third year or the fourth year or whatever. Okay, so I think it's totally messed up that Bravo is doing this to Kenya. I think it's unfair because as she stated, there are former people um, that went on Dancing Stars before her and still did their stint on The Real Housewives show. So right now, yes, Team Kenya, Bravo, you're, you're, you're messing up. And you're also messing up because I will say this, Kenya is one of those also that the show rides on her back, okay? And what do I mean by that? If it's not for Kenya and, you know, Carrie being the bone collector, so to speak, and then, you know, dropping little snippets to everybody saying, oh, this one said that, or this happened, or what do you think about this? There wouldn't be much drama, okay? So Kenya Moore is built. There's some people who, you know, reality TV, they kind of grow into their role. Kenya Moore was built for reality TV. If you ever want to write a book on reality TV, speak to Kenya Moore because she has nailed that thing, okay? She has got that thing down pat. She knows how to start drama. She knows how to um, start drama when there is no drama. She knows how to go carry the bones and the secrets to the right person so that, you know, have everybody in the uproar and everybody fighting. She knows how to take a licking and keep on ticking. Kenya Moore doesn't care. She's never going to mess up her reality money bag. She's going to make things happen when even there's nothing happening so like i said bravo if they think for one minute that roa is going to survive without kenya moore it's never going to happen and i don't care what new personality they bring on that show i don't care where they dig the person up from i don't care how interesting that person is without kenya moore on roa they're done okay and they can't even do it with just marlo you need kenya moore on there to make things pop and make things happen and to just pressure her so that she doesn't take another job in the meantime and, and work two jobs or three jobs. I mean, Candy's doing it. Why can't Kenya? I mean, that's seriously unfair. And I'm going to be honest with you. And even though Kenya ex-husband or soon-to-be ex-husband wouldn't allow it, the cutest show ever would be if Kenya Moore had her own reality show with Brooklyn or maybe even if Kenya Moore and Portia had a reality show together and, um, you know, it, 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 you know, they're raising the, the little kids, you know, and then going to places with their two little kids together. I think it would just be, you know, um, the cutest little thing ever. OK, but um I, you know, I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, let me know how you feel in the comments. Do you think um, Bravo was wrong for this, for saying to Kenya Moore that it is either Dancing with the Stars or Roa? Um, let me know how you feel. I think it's messed up. And chat with me in the comments, and I will chat back. And in addition to that, guys, tonight at 9 p.m., actually, I'm saying 9 p.m., but it's 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going live. Please join me. It's my Relationship Wednesdays, where we're going to have a conversation about, you know, when do you say that L word in a relationship? Are you afraid to say it? What would you do if someone said it to you and you wasn't ready to say it back or maybe even vice versa? 
I'm also going to throw in there this whole new revelation that we heard from Will Smith. You know, something that we, we all, the rumor's been out there for years, that him and Jada have an open relationship. Would you be okay? And could you be in an open relationship? Is there any way or any circumstances where you would feel okay doing that? And, and, and will you still feel loved? And, you know, who's responsible for your heart when you have an open relationship and, you know, maybe you with one person Monday through Wednesday and Thursday through Sunday, you're with somebody else. I don't know. Well, listen, guys, see you tonight if you can join me again, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button. Talk to you soon.